So in this problem, we're told how much work must be done to stop a 1300 kilogram car traveling at 95 kilometers per hour. So in this problem, what we're gonna be solving for is work. And so we're basically told we have this car and it's gonna travel some, uh, it's traveling at this speed and then it's gonna stop and we're trying to find out how much work it takes to do that. And so the way we're gonna do this is by using the work energy theorem, which tells us that the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. So if we can find the change in the kinetic energy from the beginning to the end, that's gonna give us how much work it takes in order to stop it. So you need to know the formula for kinetic energy, which is equal to one half mv squared. So the change in kinetic energy is equal to one half mv final squared, so the velocity at the end, minus one half mv initial squared. So this is the speed at the end and this is the speed at the beginning. And so you should notice that uh, the velocity at the end is zero. So really the change in the kinetic energy is just minus uh, one half mv initial squared. This is because this is zero. So this whole term becomes zero. So the work equals minus one half mv initial squared. So what we got to do is just plug in the values now. So work equals minus one half times the mass, 1300 uh, kg. And then notice uh, we got to convert the units from 95 kilometers per hour to uh, meters per second. So we have to make sure it's in the right standard units. So we have 95 kilometers for one hour. We know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then 60 or one minute, sorry is equal to 60 seconds. So if we look at this, these will cancel. So we have kilometers per second now, but we need meters per second. So go ahead and do fix that. So one kilometer we know is a thousand meters. So now the kilometers cancel and now we have it in meters per second. So all you gotta do is perform the calculations. So 95 divided by 60 divided by 60 times 1000. So 26.39, or just 389, we'll say, 389 meters per second. So we've got that now. We have the velocity in the correct units. So going back here to plug it in, 26.389 squared. So keep in mind the squared, don't forget that. So minus one half times 1300 times 26. And I'm gonna use the exact value here actually uh squared so you're gonna get that it equals minus four five two six four two point four or sorry seven four six so it doesn't really matter beyond that so we're just gonna say it equals minus four point five one two three four five so minus four point five times ten to the five and so we measure the unit for work is in joules so minus 4.5 times 10 to the 5 joules. So keep in mind the negative sign, you have to include that. Uh, but yeah, so minus 4.5 times 10 to the 5 joules, that's the amount of work it requires uh, to stop it. So this right here is gonna be uh, your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.